Bonjour, bonjour mes élèves. Nous allons continuer notre discussion de passé composé pour les niveaux 1. Et euh, nous allons examiner euh, encore euh, la structure euh, du passé composé et comment discuter un passé composé, euh, comment poser des questions, comment répondre avec le passé composé et aussi euh, euh, on va utiliser les adverbes avec le passé composé. OK? So, uh, a quick review. So, passé composé is uh, talking about a specific completed past action. Um, it has two parts, uh, verbe auxiliaire and uh, participe passé. The verb auxiliaire that we're dealing with uh, is avoir for this chapter. Um, it's conjugated in the simple present. So, j'ai, tu as, il est, l'on a, uh, nous, uh, nous avons, vous avez, il est, on. Okay. Uh, avoir conjugated in the uh, simple present. And uh, the past participle. So for ER verbs, take the ER away and put an E with the accent aigu over it. And for irregular verbs, you just have to memorize the, the endings for them. So uh, être is été, avoir is eu, uh, vouloir is voulu, boire is bu, lire, du, voir, vu, mettre, mi, prendre, prix, faire, fait, pluvoir is Okay, um, and for this video, um, to finish to finish off passé composé, we're going to look at uh, how to pose questions. So a couple of ways to pose questions, um, how responses can work, and uh, combining this with adverbs, uh, like at the end of the previous video. And I'll look at some exercises in your chapter as examples. So, <clears throat> passé composé with avoir. So, how to pose questions? There are a couple of ways that you can do it. You can use uh, for for your level. Um, we're going to examine a couple of ways. Inflection. And the interrogative plus essica. Okay, so for inflection, and I'll highlight the passé composé portion in red and in the question, and also in red in the response. Okay, so inflection, and um, when we had, uh, like when we were physically in class together on Mondays, every Monday I would ask you, um, Vous avez bien passé le weekend? Vous avez bien passé le weekend? So that question is in passé composé. Vous avez bien passé le weekend? Okay? So did you spend the weekend well? Did you have a good weekend? Okay? So that's where that structure is coming from. And the I could just say, vous avez passé le weekend, but that's not saying whether or not you passed it well. I'm putting an adverb in between uh, the verb auxiliaire and the past participle uh, to ask if you spent it well. Vous avez bien passé le weekend? Okay. And you can respond, oui, j'ai bien passé le weekend. Okay. Or, oui, c'était bien, c'est comme ci, comme ça. Ou, how, however you normally respond on Mondays, but that's the structure that I'm giving you, okay? Um, so, inflection, vous avez bien passé le weekend, here, tu as fait quelque chose d'amusant hier, okay? And so I've included um, an adverb time as well, okay? So, for yesterday. Hier. Tu as fait quelque chose d'amusant hier? Did you do anything fun yesterday? Tu as fait quelque chose d'amusant hier? And a response. Oui, 
J'ai rencontré des amis au parc. Oui, j'ai rencontré des amis au parc. Okay, so again, uh, I'm just taking the ER off and putting an E with an accent dig you here. And here, uh, I've just memorized that faire. The past participle is fait. Tu as fait quelque chose d'amusant hier? Oui, j'ai rencontré des amis au parc. Okay, yeah, I met some friends at the park. Okay, and the second way we'll look at is interrogative. Sorry. Interrogative plus Essica. Okay, so what are some of your interrogatives? You've got où, uh, avec qui, qui, um, your list of interrogatives that you've done um, chapters past. Uh, you can use those here with Essica. So, où Essica, where is it that? Où Essica, where is it that? Tu as acheté, you have purchased, cette chemise. Où est-ce que tu as acheté cette chemise? Where is it that you have purchased this shirt? Où est-ce que tu as acheté cette chemise? Okay. J'ai acheté cette chemise à Belk. Okay, so I bought it at Belk. J'ai acheté cette chemise à Belk. Où est-ce que tu as acheté cette chemise? J'ai acheté cette chemise à Belk. Okay. And you can do this with uh, your other interrogatives as well. Um, you can say, uh, what did you buy? Okay. Qu'est-ce que? Qu'est-ce que tu as acheté hier? Okay. Oh, uh, j'ai acheté une robe hier. Okay. I bought a dress yesterday. Uh, pour ma soeur. I bought a dress for my sister yesterday. So your interrogatives, just combine them with uh, Essica. Où Essica? Quand Essica? Avec qui Essica? Qui Essica? Qu'est-ce Okay. And just use your passé composé. Okay. And then the response will be passé composé. Okay, so that's interrogatives plus Essica. Okay, so times in the past. Okay. You can have your adjectives, uh, adjectives demonstratifs, to talk about it. Uh, you can say ce matin, cet après-midi, ce soir, etc. Okay, you can use aujourd'hui for today. And ce matin is this morning, cet après-midi is this afternoon, ce soir, this evening. Okay, adverbs, hier, yesterday. Uh, combine it with uh, something additional, uh, splitting the day up. Hier matin, yesterday morning. Hier après-midi, yesterday afternoon. Hier soir, yesterday evening. Okay. Or you can have dernière. So last night, la nuit dernière. Last week, la semaine dernière. Last month, le mois dernier. Last year, l'année dernière. Okay? And the second one is il y a. Okay? So il y a plus a unit of time is that unit of time ago in English. So, il y a un jour is one day ago. Il y a deux heures is two hours ago. Il y a trois semaines, three weeks ago. Okay, so let's say uh, I'm talking about uh, what I wore throughout the day, okay? So, uh, to wear is porter. It's an ER verb. So, I know already that my participe passé is going to be P-A-R-T 
E with the accent of U over the E, okay? And my uh, verb auxiliaire is going to be avoir, and I'm talking about myself, so I'm going to use uh, j porté, j porté, okay? And I'll go through the day. So, ce matin, j'ai porté un t-shirt, un jean, uh, et des chaussettes, okay? Um, cet après-midi, j'ai porté une chemise bleue, uh, une cravate rouge, un gilet gris, un gène et des chaussettes noires et des chaussures uh, brunes. Okay, so I can just go throughout the day, cet après-midi, ce soir, ce matin, um, with j'ai porté. Okay, I can ask uh, I can ask a friend what they wore earlier in the day. Alors, uh, tu as porté qu'est-ce que tu as porté ce matin? Qu'est-ce que tu as porté ce matin? What did you wear this morning? Okay. And then they can respond. J'ai porté, uh, just like I did in my first examples. Okay? With um, adverbs, okay? We can say, have, we can have a question that's like, mm, Est-ce que tu as acheté un cadeau pour l'anniversaire de votre mère, uh, de ta mère? Est-ce que tu as acheté un cadeau pour l'anniversaire de ta mère? Uh, so, did you buy a birthday present for your mother? Uh, oui, uh, hier, j'ai acheté un collier pour ma mère. Okay, yeah, I, uh, yesterday, I bought a necklace for my mother. Okay? Or, um, la semaine dernière, uh, j'ai acheté la semaine dernière j'ai dessiné quelque chose pour ma mère last week i drew something for my mother okay so i can use these uh, in my in my responses i can use just like vous avez bien passé le weekend um, i can talk about i can use these adverbs to talk about a time in the past in my question. Uh, Qu'est-ce que tu as fait hier? What did you do yesterday? Qu'est-ce que tu as fait hier? Qu'est-ce que tu as fait ce weekend? Okay? And using idia, okay, um, this would be more for a response than, uh, than for a question than these others. But, so let's say a question might be, um, Est-ce que vous avez fini uh, vos devoirs? Did you finish your homework? Okay. Or, Est-ce que, est que tu as fini tes devoirs? Oh, I'll be, I'll be familiar. Est-ce que tu as fini tes devoirs? Oui. J'ai fini mes devoirs il y a deux heures. Okay? Yeah, I finished two hours ago. Okay? Est-ce que tu as fait du jogging cette semaine? Did you do... Did you go jogging this weekend? Oui, uh, j'ai fait du jogging pour il y a trois jours. I did it three weeks... I, I did it three days ago. Okay? So you can use il y a in your uh, response. It's a little more difficult to, um, for passé composé, it's, it's more difficult to use idia in a question, but it works just, just fine readily in responses. Okay? And in the uh, last video, I'll go over some uh, examples from the uh, from the book. Okay, merci, merci.